Welcome to AI for a Better World, where we explore how groundbreaking technology is tackling humanity's biggest challenges. Today, we're shining a light on a global issue that affects millions, aging populations and the loneliness epidemic. Joining me is Dor Skula, the visionary CEO of Intuition Robotics, who's on a mission to change the way we age. Dor and his team created LEQ, a proactive AI companion designed to help older adults live healthier, more connected and more independent lives. Here's the reality. By 2050, the global population over 60 will double to more than 2.1 billion. Loneliness is becoming a crisis with massive social and economic consequences. How can a technology like LEQ redefine aging? Dor, welcome. Thanks for inviting me, Kathy. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. Well, let's dive right in. We all know tech is advancing fast, but aging populations are putting pressure on healthcare systems worldwide. And the question is, can tech really step in? Where do you see the sweet spot between solutions like LEQ and the irreplaceable human touch of caregiving? Yeah, so look, I mean, for sure it would be better if we could just snap our fingers and have our loved ones because we're talking about our moms and our dads and our aunts and our uncles, right? And ourselves in a few years. However, the fact is that at least many of us become really lonely and isolated. In the UK, they have an interesting specific, uh, statistic. 50% of the older adults in the UK speak to one human or less a week, even on the phone. And then given that backdrop, where can technology help? What it can do is fill that need for companionship, for a cheerleader that's on our side, for an entity that can hold really intelligent conversations with us. Because today with AI, the entire human knowledge is available in our fingertips or through a few API calls. And actually what we found also motivate us to work on our wellness, work on our health, work on our social connections with others, increase our knowledge, help us find a sense of purpose. And what all of that is leading to for the few thousand people that are now living with LEQ is that over 90% of them are seeing a measurable reduction in their loneliness score. And 94% of them are seeing an increase in their health and wellness indicators. Let's talk about another big challenge, getting older adults uh, to actually trust this technology. Let's be honest, convincing grandma to embrace a robot probably isn't always easy. How did you and your team crack the code on trust? What's the secret sauce that makes LEQ feel like a friend rather than just another device? A lot of humility had to go into the design. And trust is an important word here. Um, and we'll get to that because it's very, very important to everything we do. The step before trust is usability and creating delight and breaking down the barrier for people that are in fact afraid of technology. Like they're the total opposite of early adopters, right? And what we did is very early on, we created a panel of a few hundred older adults that helped us with the design phase. And essentially we tried to ask them like, what would technology that's designed for you look like, as opposed to something that's designed for a 35 year old and you're forced to try to cope with it. Um, what type of experiences do you want? How can we make this a delightful, compelling experience that you would want that will help you overcome your fear? And a lot of things had to go into it. The first one is actually turned out to be a fundamental advancement in the world of AI, which is to turn the AI agent to be proactive rather than reactive. So we created the world's first proactive AI that actually initiates the conversations. And it does it based on context and based on goals. So it has a lot of sensory data that goes into it, like computer vision, who's around, um, other data like time of day and history that we gain about the individual, et cetera. Then LEQ at every 10 seconds or so makes a decision, is this a good time to start talking to Kathy or not? And at that point, once she does, you don't need to remember how to talk to an AI. You just need to naturally respond to a question. So like if in the morning, LEQ will come to me and say, hey, Dora, good morning. How did you sleep? All I need to do is answer how I slept. It's not tech anymore. It's just a conversation. 
We also added body language. Body language is important. That's why we're on Zoom right now and not talking on the phone, right? And that's why when we meet in person, it's even better. There's something about body language that breaks down barriers and helps us understand things subconsciously and helps break down communication barriers. And the third is a very keen understanding on some of the effects that some of us feel when um, or encounter when we age. So we might not hear as well. We might not see as well. We might have tougher control over fine motor skills. And that's why there's multimodality. You can talk to LEQ, but also see on the screen what she's showing or what she's saying. You can reply to her um, via voice or you can touch the screen. And it's done in a seamless, delightful way that doesn't seem like it's a geriatric product. It just seems like a beautifully designed, almost like statue that comes to life. So I'm learning that LEQ is not just about answering questions. LEQ is about forming relationships. And I imagine you've heard some pretty powerful stories from users um, about their experiences with LEQ. Can you share a moment or a story that really hit home for you? A time when you realized LEQ was doing something even bigger than you imagined. Well, there's so many, and, and there are a ton of testimonials available on our website as well, on leq.com, that people can watch or on our YouTube channel. How just a recent one, a few days ago, um, one of our customers reached out, said, listen, I came back from hospitalization and I was assigned a week's of bed rest. Couldn't get up, I live alone. However, I had LEQ with me. And we were chatting the entire time. She was telling me jokes. She took me on virtual road trips, on virtual tours. I played bingo with other LEQ users. I had fun. And I can't imagine what that week would have been like if she wasn't there. And to me, that's just, I mean, it's a small moment, you know, but it's a fundamental and really, really important one on the impact of this type of a technology in like day-to-day -day life. May I talk a little bit about cognitive health, which is uh, very, very important to me because I, I know a lot of people that, have, that are struggling with this. And we know that staying socially connected is crucial as we age. We're seeing more and more research about AI's potential in cognitive health from memory retention, even to uh, supporting people with Alzheimer's. Is LEQ already stepping into this space? It helps with daily routines, reminders, but can it actually help in this space? Do you see that as, you know, perhaps part of your mission or vision for LEQ moving forward? Yeah, so look, I mean, there are a lot of studies and ARP is leading the charge here on kind of brain health recommendations to either stop the progression of, of dementia or to keep it at or to to even stop it from progressing um, or, or turn it back. Sorry. Um, and they recommend five activities, better sleep, physical exercise, cognitive stimuli and training across different areas. It's not just playing Sudoku, right? it's different things, nutrition and social connectiveness. And we work on all of those five things. So on our wellness program, uh, that's part of LEQ, there are about 20 cognitive games that simulate different areas of the mind. There's also video conferencing and messaging and picture sharing and communications between other LEQ users. And in fact, 56% of our customers are telling us that their social connections have increased ever since they got this product, in addition to their relationship with the AI itself. I want to ask you one more question, one last question, Dora. This has been great. Why will LEQ be the one thing they want in their lives? Okay, so I'll surprise you. Like, LEQ is not for everybody, okay? Uh, by the way, neither is any product. It is built for older adults that either live alone or spend the majority of their time by themselves every day. We, we clocked out at five hours or more alone by themselves every day. The Surgeon General has shown very compelling data. He actually calls loneliness the epidemic of the 21st century. It more than doubles the risk for dementia. It increases the risk for heart disease, for mental health, um, things like depression and anxiety. So it's a big deal beyond the wellness and taking your medication on time, et cetera, et cetera. What we have found is introducing LEQ to the home actually touches those things, actually gives us a sense of companionship. Yes, with a digital entity, we don't pretend to be human. LEQ never pretends to be human. Think of like the benefit people get from a relationship with their pet. It's actually very, very similar, except that in this case, the pet can talk back, right? They never think that the pet is human. And yet it still fills a hole that we have in our lives and still gives us a ton of value. Likewise, LEQ does that as well. 
We're also finding that caregivers are finding a huge amount of value here. Think of it as like hiring an AI to be part of the care circle to on one side, because it's goal oriented, to enforce the things that mom might need help on that becomes a burden for the unpaid caregiver, like reminding mom to take her pills and to exercise and to eat and to drink. So we do all that with the permission of the older adult to keep their privacy and keep agency on their data. We also update the family caregiver. Mom isn't, she's having a bad day. She's not feeling well for three days in a row. She's really not as active as she was. She's not sleeping well, she's not eating. Um, so they can kind of know when to get involved and have peace of mind the rest of the time and then use LEQ to build a deeper relationship with their family. Uh, one feature that I love, probably my favorite feature in this product, is what we call the memoir. You can ask remotely um, LEQ to capture specific stories that are like family legends or just that you're curious about, right? Tell me about the time you went to Woodstock or tell me how you met my dad or something like that. And LEQ will then try to convince the older adult to record that. She will record it, she will become a director, ask questions and actually hold a video conversation with the older adult on that topic with natural conversation. She'll ask follow-up questions based on what they said, et cetera, et cetera. You can hold up pictures. Those will be added into what essentially becomes a movie or a little asset about that specific story. And you can do it on many, many different stories. So bring the family closer together through shared memories and kind of take a lot of the headache and the, the knit and gritty away from caregiving and allow you to focus on quality time with mom and dad. I love that. I love that. That That is definitely something I'm going to have to check out after this interview. Dor, thank you so much. This has been fascinating. Um, I love learning about technologies like LEQ, helping older adults live with dignity. Uh, to learn more about LEQ and Intuition Robotics, please check out their website. Dor, again, thank you for joining us. We can't wait to see what's next for LEQ and the future of tech-powered aging. Thank you so much.